Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Ferret Business. I'm joined again today by the Spider Queen, I mean Moons of Mine. And in today's episode we're going to carry on with our power structure and open a few more quest related blind bags. So, let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to get started now and Moons is a cockatrice. So, yeah, okay. Uh, as you can see, we have four blind, basic blind bags of uh, blindness, and we got them from completing these quests. Which ones was it again? It was Automation Station. We completed the Mine Factory Reloaded, where it was basically baking up the raw, the raw rubber up to the way to plastic, plastic sheets, factory and plastic pipe, then the precision hammer. It was fairly easy, that one. Another one that we have done is... Where was it, Moons? It was hmm, this one here, material, rotten bone. So we traded in 20 of them for a bag of coins that's worth 50 silver and a stone job chip. And then there was another one. I just don't remember where it was. Hmm. Could it have been, no, it wasn't Nature. We finished that in the last episode. And it wasn't Tails. It was possibly Chisels. Where we just handed in the chisel that we already made a while ago. Anyway, so we have four bags each. Are you ready to spam them and then see what we have after? Yeah. Yeah? Three. Two. Hey. I didn't hear you. Oh. Oh. One. Go, go, go. Spam it, spam it. And we, I have amaranth wood. 64 of it. Uh... 10 Azul Joe. I have no clue what that is. 64 Carpenter's Blocks, which may come in handy, and a Poppet. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Uh, what did you get? I'm going to throw this in here because it's not much use to us at the moment. You have got. I cannot tell what that is in your hand. Oh, you got more of them? You got more Night Blooms. No way. You need to stop at Nightshades. Oh, I've got two of these. Two of these. One time. Uh, sure, what's two of these? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Get it? No, you haven't thrown anything out. Oh, it's there right. it did. It was a bit of like a legendary blind bag of blind bags. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, 17, 16, one. Go. <laughs> I got a Simply Jetpacks Master one, and you got a basic Minecraft one. And I got. A leadstone jetpack with armor. It just needs power. What did you get? You got a golden apple. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so. I got this. this. I need some way to charge it. I think I need a storage self to charge that. You got a terror pickaxe. And this. You didn't. Please tell me. You got. Can I just have a look at that pick for a second? Oh, this one? Yes, that one, please. <gasps> yeah, you just sneak and click it with me. Drop it. What did it do? It charged it. It powered it up. Terra Shatterer. Those are actually pretty hard to make. And it's already a B rank. I'm pretty sure they start at D. Okay, you don't want to go using that just yet until we have some way of having it repair or enchanting it first as well. Really? Yeah? So, and that's for stabbing yourself for blood magic. Is it? Yeah, right click. No, left click. Ow. Okay, it's not then. Um, It looks a bit like the same dagger though. Okay, for a sec, I'll probably have... Is it the one where it gives you the drops from witchery? It is, the Arfana. Okay, um, there's special drops you get from mobs for witchery stuff. And the Arfana increases the drop rate, I believe. So, yeah. Now, we haven't done much as such in the ways of changing here, guys. We've done a little bit more mining. Um, we have put a couple, well, Moons has put some storage under here and here for some of the things we've got. We don't have many diamonds. We have four, which is four more than we need at the moment. As you can see, I've not done anything else with the machines. I didn't want to do it off the camera. Moons has planted some trees now she's not very happy with her trees because she has all these beautiful apples on this and then there's this apple tree here 
with a very sour looking apple it just it grew with one as and the same here with a cherry yes oh a bit of lag there and again okay oh you can swivel go on right <laughs> and so guys i don't know if you noticed but i have dark steel broadsword and dark steel throwing knives i made them because they seem to have a decent attack damage and it was fairly easy all we needed was our aloe smelter and we had a piece of iron some pulverized coal and some obsidian and that's how all it takes to make a dark steel and it only took one to make the sword and half of one to make the dagger so yeah it was pretty cheap and also to make these parts you didn't need the smelter you just put it inside the part builder in here which makes it an easier step as well if you don't have a smeltery so it's a nice start tool uh, weapon even it's kept me alive for a little while now it helps me kill the things I think earlier whilst we were getting things prepared for today's episode we had about 20 zombies in this water pool here they just stockpiled up didn't they on us didn't yeah. know what it was gonna do okay okay and I think Okay, I don't think I have much else to show you around the base, but I've got to show you my lovely cyan bag. It is has hopefully everything in it that we need to start with today. See, I've been using the aloe smelter and the sag mill, and as you can probably tell, it's been draining away the power. In fact, using this generator here doesn't give me enough power to keep this running and that running. And have you lagged as well? Okay. I think our host PC is being a bit buggy at the moment, so bear with us on that, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, sign backpack. So in here, we have three stacks of copper, half a stack of iron, some raw plastic, glass, osmium ingots, and gold ingots, tin, the dark steel I was on about earlier, eight furnaces, redstone, cobblestone, and oak wood. And we are going to be making a couple of mechanism things first. So we first need the, I believe it's metallic infuser. No? Is it metallurgy infuser? Okay, I cannot remember what it is. I'm going to show mecha. There we go. And it is the one there. Metallurgic. I was close but too far off at the same time. Fairly simple. So we're going to grab all of these. I'll just grab these. Might need the glass. I don't think we need the plastic yet, but I'm going to grab it anyway. I'm just going to quick craft one of these. And we need that for making what we're going to be making later or as soon as possible. And actually, I should really have left the mechanism on because it's going to be a wind generator. And hopefully, this is going to be our first constant stream of power and yeah just take these things like the enriched alloy needs redstone inside of the metallurgy confuser with iron so we may in fact just to be safe i'm going to grab another stack of redstone from there okay now i need to put more power in this generator otherwise we're not going to get anywhere so do we have any coal in there no i'm gonna have to use it for downstairs I'd like to move away from coal power, it's not going to be that sustainable as such. Well it could be, I just I can't be bothered to go out mining coal constantly. Keep it going. And I could use a charcoal tree farm, but we're not that far into Tinker's Construct yet really to be making a lava crystal to do that. Oh, and lag again. I apologize guys. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Please, okay, he's getting some power. Right, I'm going to throw in I uh, how many? Let's see. To make the wind generator, because we're only going to make one. We need one, two, three, four, five. And that just takes that and osmium. So five for the iron. So I believe it's a one to one ratio. It isn't on other packs, but on this one, it is. I know on. I believe it's on. Um, Project Zone 2, where it's something like a 10 to 1 ratio for 10 redstone to 1 iron. But then that depends on the mode you're playing as well, because that was on Kappa mode. Power drain. 
Okay, it's because this is charging too. Yeah, as you can see, guys, it's barely able to keep up at all with just the one. So, yeah, the more power we have coming in, the better. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, whilst that's doing that, let's look at a energy cell. So, we have got a few ways we could go. We could go capacitor, I believe. Basic capacitor bank. So, we need four of these. And they take copper, redstone, and gold nuggets. Or gold coins, which I believe we have. Yeah, saves me able to break up any gold. And we need four, so one, two, three, four. Like that. And then the basic craft bank is. Oh, I don't have the redstone, so just do that. That. Like so. There we go. So we have our capacitor bank, which will come in handy not only for our machines. I'm going to put it there, I think. Be a good place to put it. And then we're going to put this next to it. Of course, I need to put two more redstone in there because I'm an idiot and didn't think about that. <laughs> this isn't going to be much use to us until it's got some charge in it I don't want to actually charge that just yet but being able to fly this early in the pack actually will be helpful for exploration and other things speaking of exploration I have been around quite a bit as you can tell I found a second village here with a witchery wall up surrounding it so that was fairly well helpful there wasn't much in it uh, two meteors we have one there and one there so once we try to apply the logistics we can look into that I also found another dungeon this here is a sand dungeon entrance and it's pretty close to us again so we have two dungeons pretty close and I do fear activating them because in the past when we've gone and explored in those dungeons by the time we get down to the second or third layer our frames will drop all the way down due to all of the spawners and all other block updates that happen with them so yeah if you have a low build PC I would be wary of them in fact if it does become a problem I would suggest disabling the mod itself it's something like it's not runic dungeons it's ru <sighs> what is the mod something dungeons I think it is so what no, that's just going to pull up deco craft. Okay. Something. <laughs> Roguelike dungeons? That was it. There we go. I got there in the end. Right then. So we have our five enriched alloy. And then we also need to make a... Whatever the bob that was called. Thing. Yes. We're getting technical here now, guys. The bob that was called the thing. Exactly. And I don't know where my lag is. Oh my gosh. I will get this sorted for the next episode because it should not be this responsive like this. It should be very quick and. Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's get this in. This and this there, like so. And there we are. Basic control circuit is what we needed. Then we need to make ooh, 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 two, two, I believe it was, and then it was gold and, oof, I forget, was it redstone? No, I'll quickly check. Mechanism. Two of these. And it was redstone, there we go. So, hmm, surprised myself. And what are we missing? Of course, it doesn't like to auto complete that recipe for some reason. You'll find that a few times, guys. I have. And there. Now, you tend to find there is an optimum height to put these. And usually the higher they are, the more energy they are creating. But after testing, it doesn't seem to matter if I have it up any higher than this. 
it just generates a decent amount of tick. As you can see, that's pumping in 71 RF a tick. I could try putting it higher, and we can see what happens. So let's let's grab it now. Uh, grab it now, please. Oh, I've lagged again. That is definitely going to become a problem. Just quickly charge this up so I can glide down without dying. That would be grand. There we go. Move my food. Oh gosh, wrong block. And I swear I set that to... No, not that one. Not that one. Was it that? There we go, I've disabled it. Not there, thank you. I'm not the best with jetpacks, usually I go straight for the creative kind of flying like angel wings or whatever I can. Okay, now um, I need to put hover mode on for that. This is so we can place the windmill so the power is facing the right way because I don't want to be wrenching it. See up here it is only at 84 so I've only gained about 13 RF a tick. Now that may be the difference between it being useful or useless to some people but I think the extra wiring needed to bring it up this high just isn't worth it really. I know on some other packs it actually gives a lot more than that but here it doesn't. So you can't really rely on that kind of power, but it does help. Like we are here, we've got 100,000 odd RF, which is going to be handy. A lot better than this thing here, really. So, I'm going to throw, no, I'm not. I need that for the other machines I was going to make. Now, before I make this next machine, I just want to show you guys this. The compact machine, this one that Moon's got in the last episode, can give you never stars and world resizing cubes now i don't quite know what that takes me it takes diamonds and these things here yes i don't i don't know it's just that but the never stars are handy and maybe if we're lucky we could uncraft it and grab these never stars so now we have eight never stars and i have no clue what we're going to use them for so if you guys have any suggestions or hints or what you'd like me to see me use them for, let me know in the comments down below and we will try our best to use them. Now that jetpack's going to bug me, I'll turn it off for now. And next in my plan book is... What did I want that for? Hmm. So I got pissed... Ah, it was to get started on Gendistry. And the first thing we're going to need really is an industrial apiary. Now I have already been out and grabbed some bees inside of my ender backpack here. So if we go in here, as you can see, quite a few bees. You have ignoble and pristine. Pristine princesses will live forever. You can use them over and over and over. But ignoble stock die out random occasions. It doesn't you don't even know when they could die out after breeding twice or a thousand times it just they won't last forever so try to go for pristine now we are going to make our first apiary here so we need a sturdy casing which is bronze and bronze is just copper and tin and i know i'm going to need a bit of it so i'm going to make i think 16 there we go so we're making a stack of bronze there's our sturdy casing and then we also need these bronze gears which is a stone gear which is a wooden gear so we need wood and stone so there's our wood here's our sticks I'm just gonna do that for now and there surround this and then bronze Piston, dead easy. Everyone knows a piston recipe by now. Or at least I hope they do. And if you don't, where you been for the past seven, eight years? No, pistons didn't start in Minecraft when it started, but how long has it been now? It's been about four or five years since he added pistons at least. 
I know it was a mod to begin with. Uh, B receptacle. What a funny name. Okay, we need glass panes. Got them. Need a gold pressure plate. Got it. So gold pressure plate, glass pane, bronze, and redstone. And my inventory is starting to look like a mishmash of everything. And then we just want to throw them in this design. So that there, there, yeah, the gears, and our glass. And there we have our first industrial apiary. Now it's not going to be much use yet. We can use it to breed bees if we like but these things really shine when you have these upgrades in them now some upgrades i will be aiming for will be lifespan upgrades for breeding it reduces the lifespan of the bees so when you're trying to breed up a stock of them they won't last as long so you'll get more of the drones and um, seal upgrades for rain things like that and then you have emulations for different areas so if you have a bee that needs an ocean biome you can use an emulator for the ocean and it will give you it will allow you to breed the bees anywhere else and there's also a light upgrade and where are we this is the light upgrade means that it can work at night so you won't have to worry about having your bees being able to fly at night things like that um it also goes into all this genetics kind of thing and we will work on that slowly as we go through but i think what i'm going to work out off cam is getting maybe three or four of these industrial apiaries i may get i think six I'm, i'd be happy with six and then a couple more of these machines i'm going to show you we are going to get a mutatron advanced mutatron because i'll show you what that does in a future episode we need we're going to get one of them we're going to get some mutagen producers we need one of them the genetic imprinter will we will need one and the genetic sampler will need one of them and then possibly another one of these but i don't think so well if we need it i will let you guys know <coughs> excuse me but we are just going to work towards getting things for our bees because that's what we're going to set up it's going to be a nice factory with bees okay so let's have a quick look see what moon's been doing i think she's been working towards getting not killed by this nuclear beast guy my lord there we go those things are horrible all right so she, as you can see she's flattening land down here for us to go and build our thank you farm man that we're going to work on as well because our farm is going to tie in with our power production and we're going to need if we have these um gender street apiaries and things like that we are going to need a lot of power so i'm sorry we haven't completed any quests in today's episode we didn't really plan any out but it does appear the server is getting more and more laggy so we're going to have to sort that out now guys so i think we're going to end the episode here and be back tomorrow with a much stronger episode with a lot more to show you guys. So, thank you for watching. I've been Kalos and this is Moons of Mine and we've been playing on the Ferret Business Pack on the Feed the Beast and Twitch launcher. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please subscribe. I could do with a few more subscribers to be honest. And I hope to see you all next time. Take care now. Bye bye.